Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, last night, I heard the Lord say, this is a message for those left, or those left behind, those left or those left behind. And so then all night, I was kind of waiting to hear what the message was, and I never heard anything else. So this morning, I was just thinking I had been reading Are We in the End Times Yet by LaHaye and Jenkins. And they're the authors of the Left Behind series. So I thought I'd just kind of open up and see what they had to say for those left behind. And they do right in their first opening chapter include a prayer. But just as a side note, there are some people that would probably say, Oh good, she's not just teaching from her dreams and visions now. She's teaching from an actual scholarly book written by a doctor from a theological seminary. But what's kind of interesting is that from all their analysis they were saying they thought the Lord would return between three and ten years. Well, I looked at the date when the book was written and it was 1999. So I think most people would be hesitant to call them false prophets. Um, I think they're just human and they're just analyzing events and we're human and we're not perfect, we're not God. Um, and I think a lot of people are quick to call people getting dreams and visions false prophets because they themselves are cessationists and don't believe in prophecy for today at all. So I would just say to anyone who is a cessationist and doesn't believe the spiritual gifts are for today, please be careful that you don't become one of the scoffers who is like, oh, where is this return? And, um, you know, God's Word says there will be people receiving visions and prophecies and dreams in the last days. So just watch out that you don't become a scoffer like where is this promised return because the Lord said he is coming and he is coming soon but let's get to our message for those who don't want to be left behind this is a good prayer if you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior I would suggest um, praying this prayer and this is all of our goal who are sharing these videos we want people to come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ just like LaHaye and Jenkins, um, that's what they wanted. They put it right in the front of their book. So if you would like to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I confess that I have sinned against heaven in your sight, and I need forgiveness. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for my sins, according to the Scriptures, and I thank you for raising him from the dead. Today I ask him to come into my heart to cleanse me from my sin and become my Lord and Savior. I give to myself to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen and amen. The angels are rejoicing in heaven if you gave yourself, your life to the Lord today and received him as your Savior. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.